Welcome to the small scape well. You asked for it, and Mr. Primetime asked for it, to set up the pond. It is a little late in the season. Yes, it's the beginning of July, but we will still have a few months to enjoy it and to see what kind of breeding we can get. It should be fun. And the really fun part is going to be cleaning it out because it has just sat here since last fall. Haven't done a thing to it, didn't even drain the water. So this is gonna be really fun. Hope you enjoy. So my plan of attack is I've already tested the pump. The pump works. We've got our extension cord getting the pump to the pond. I'm gonna clean it out. That means removing a lot of the leaves and uh, other gunk that's in there. I'm gonna drain a lot of the water and then we're going to refill it. And then uh, my planting is gonna be different than last year though. Last year I got a number of pond plants, some of my favorites, but I'm, this year I'm gonna keep the costs to a minimum. I got two umbrella plants from the local swap, really excited for those. And then I'm gonna use a lot of aquatic plants that I just happen to have, probably uh, crypts. I think I'm gonna use a lot of crypts in here. I may have some plants out front that I can dig up some Japanese forest grass, maybe that I can plant around. And I, you're gonna see the pond has really settled, so I'm gonna have to re, uh, kind of flatten it out and um, kind of redo the soil underneath there so it's nice and level. Add a lot of garden soil around because I do have some plantings and all of it has gone kind of out the door with the fall uh, and the winter seasons and even the spring and part of the summer. So let's uh, get started.
So that's how much rain we got last night. Oh my gosh, what happened to my pond? Just kidding. The pond is just fine. It's really full, at, but it's just fine. All the plants really stayed where I planted them, and it looks great. And I even got to plant some shrubs and grasses around the pond too last night, before the big storm. Now the Bacopa and the Creeping Jenny stayed really nicely and I just expected to kind of creep along the driftwood and the rocks. I did add some driftwood uh, in addition to that piece. I don't know if I have any footage of it for some reason. But today you won't see me on camera because look at that temperature. What? What? Oh my gosh, no. So let's look at some pretty plants. Yes, I went back to the garden center to get a few more plants. I couldn't help myself. This one's a really cool one. It's a water lily. I spent most on this. It was about $25, but I really I really thought it would be fun to have a, a an extra cool plant. And all I did was took the uh, the pot that the plant came in and put some gravel on top and some rocks just to kind of hold it in place. And then this is another one of my favorites. It's the Spiral Rush. It's just such a goofy, fun plant. And I took the same pot that it came in and added some gravel on top. Wedged it in between some rocks and it's all good to go. Along with some Bacopa that I stole from a planter out front. So who did I put in this pond? Well, I asked a number of weeks ago and I got a lot of votes. So I took a lot of the popular votes and that would be for the Florida flagfish, which if I get some green hair algae, which I probably will, they will enjoy that very much. They're beautiful little fish. I've got eight of them. And then also some cherry shrimp. And I also have about eight of them. So they should be very happy out there breeding. We hope to get a lot of them in the fall. There's lots of cover for them, lots of driftwood and rocks, even way down at the bottom, lots of plants, and they should all have their own little uh, nooks and crannies to hide in, and hopefully I should get some good footage once the pond clears up. Thanks for watching.